What is up guys, it's Nightamer here with another Hunter Call of the Wild tutorial slash guide. Today's guide is going to be on the tree stand. If you don't have a tree stand already, they will cost 16000 a piece. I think it is a very good investment, but once you have the tree stand equipped, all you have to do is go to an area that you want to set it up in, and once you like pull it out, there will be a highlight around the trees that you can put it on and the area that you can actually put it on. I just put this tree stand on the lowest setting. There is multiple benefits of hunting out of a tree stand. Amongst my favorite is just being higher above the ground so you can see better without any little bushes getting in the way of your eyesight because you're all above them looking down. But another benefit is you get less hunting pressure when hunting out of the stand, which you can shoot actually, I believe it's 16 animals out of a tree stand, I believe, without actually destroying a need zone. Compared to the regular over three kills destroying a need zone in the specific area you're in. Here's an example of me hunting out of the tree stand that I just placed for you guys. Um, where I'm at is a good area for black tails and white tails. You'll also get some rabbits that go by and some coyotes. Not enough to really hunt them, but it's still a good area to hunt for just deer. I think it's best to hunt out of a tree stand with a bow or any other quiet weapon that you have, just because out of, with a tree stand you're relying on animals that you call in more just like these deer and things coming into the need zone. So if you use a quieter weapon, you're not going to be scaring them off as much. I just shot this buck, and uh, he's not going down very fast, which is another thing I should actually say. Because you are shooting at such an angle, you should adjust your shot placement just a little bit, because I think on this guy, since I'm using the 420 grain arrows and he was really steep, I think I ended up going or my arrow needed to go through a lot more of that neck and it just wasn't able to do that. So you just want to keep your shot placement in mind too. I mean, that guy was within 10 meters, so that was kind of a weird situation, but he's going to go down up over by that hill. And I'll actually bring up the screen or the harvest screen just to show you where the shot was. It's better to shoot them when they're broadside at that close of range when you're shooting straight down. Here's the deer I just shot. I'll show you where it actually hit. Yeah, that was kind of what I was predicting. Literally, if I was left or right, I probably would have actually gotten a single lung shot, but that's just a thing that you should remember is that you might have to go through that neck. So don't make the mistake I did and wait for a little bit more broadside shot. But anyways, guys, please like and subscribe. I'll have more videos and tutorials in the description. Have a great day.